Hi everyone, and on today's video we're going to talk about under floor heating and floor construction and whether to DIY or not DIY this part of the build. Big question. <laughs> so follow us along on this video to see how it all turned out and we'll give you some tips and explanations as we go through as to why we did things a certain way. We kind of cheated um, a little bit. We had some help. Yeah. Um, so the builders did the new bit of the house and we focused on the existing bit um, that needed a bit of a TLC, which included extending the joists, battening them, and then insulating before the underfloor heating can be clipped to the insulation. I think one of our biggest decisions that we had to make early on was why we wanted to do the floor in the way that we wanted to do it. Um, I think the ceiling height, Charlotte, may have been uh, the main issue. Yeah, so the way that we did the floor build up wasn't the easiest option. Um, the easiest option to do is to do like a solid floor construction um, and then you put boarding down, insulation and you clip your underfloor heating pipe to that. Whereas with ours, we laid ours in between the joists, which meant a lot of notching and generally it takes longer. Um, but by inserting the pipe within the joists means that your floor level stays the Almost same. Almost the same. Effectively. Yeah. I mean, apart from a couple of mil when you've got the cement boards on top. But if we were to lay the board in on top of the joists, then you've got your insulation, then you've got your underfloor heating, you would have increased the floor height by at least... 50 mil, maybe. 50 mil. And, you know, when our ceiling heights aren't crazy tall anyway... That would have, I feel, been detrimental to the space. So yeah, I mean, it'd have I reduced, put my foot down. It'd have reduced the ceiling height to less than two twenty, which, and that's centimeters. Um, two thirty is probably a limit. I mean, I, whatever I am, I can nearly touch the ceiling here, and we haven't even got the plasterboards on yet. So um, add a bit of tile to the bottom of the floor as well. Um, so you, you're already bringing it down another maybe forty mil. So. I think as a, a whole, we've made the right decision in the way that we've done it. Yeah, we definitely yeah. found the hardest way of doing it, I would <laughs> say. Uh, hence needing a little bit of help and probably where this video will lead towards a, a, a maybe an obvious decision for you. But it depends on the construct, really, uh, I would say, as to why or which way that you DIY this. I really wish I'd been filming this and I haven't. I've just cracked on and, and got the actual uh, floor up, as you can see behind me. So this is the area that we actually decided to do ourselves. Um, we felt we could save a fair bit of money here. The builders did recommend that we uh, replace the joists, um, but there was a lot of more money to be spent there. Um, these joists are good, but they're just not deep enough to hold the insulation. So we extended them. Um, so they are about 100 mil as they stand now. We put uh, an extra two by three underneath each of them so that we could then batten on the side of them, slot the 100 mil insulation into uh, the gaps. So we got the 25 mil depth that we needed for the pipe and the screed above. This is me cutting up some of the joists to go on. Fasten each of them underneath. They were a bit awkward and there was a lot of pipe work from the original heating system in there that we had to take out, but it nicely went together and uh, actually came out quite a nice job in the end. What's today's job, Charlotte? Insulation. You having fun? I'm covered in snow. I've only just got started. No. 
bit stinky too. It's Sunday. We've been here all day since like 7 a.m and the underfloor is laid on the entire ground floor um, it took us a fair few hours um, and we had help from the lads at my work which was just amazing to be honest they've been proper troopers and well i mean me and adam were here I'd, I'd, we helped um, but they basically did it and it looks amazing all pressure tested all ready to go for the screen on tuesday so well worth being here all day today um, we really feel like it's an actual like habitable space now, nearly. So screed will go down and then five days, concrete boards will go down and then we can start to plasterboard. And I think that will be when, you know, it starts to feel like a real room. No, really good progress today, really pleased. Um, so we'll uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> nearly there. made fantastic progress this week everyone um, we have had the cement boards laid so we can now start to see the room in its full size scale whatever you want to call it uh, effectively we've got a space that we can actually call the kitchen um, we know the height of things now we know where we can mark out where each of the uh, units is going to fall uh, where the island's going to be down here, um, how it's going to work against the doors. The uh, the whole area itself is really starting to um, properly take shape now. And uh, I'd say plaster on the walls, um, a few sort of doorways, uh, put in, we need a fire door into the garage. Um, and I'd say this is pretty much livable. A um, couple of bits from the electrician to uh, second fix. Uh, obviously, once the plasterboards have done, before the plasterboards, we need to put uh, some radiator pipes back up into the bedrooms upstairs, uh, connect up the underfloor heating. Um, it's been fully pressure tested um, with the guys that laid it, but we still haven't sort of done the full wet connection yet. So that will get done at the same time as the heating pipes. Um, oh, and we've, oh, I'm not going to be able to show you, it's dark, damn, we've finally got a coat of paint on. That's got a separate video for that one that we'll uh, build out, so we've actually now got paint on the walls. Um, but, yeah, we, I can just see this entire space, I mean, I've just walked around the, the hole downstairs now, and the floor is basically done. Um, a few little corners to uh, fill in, a few little gaps that they haven't yet got to, but, as a general basis, we are we are there. Um, so, plastering next. So there you have it. That's our attempt at DIY underfloor heating. <laughs> I if think you can call it that, we cheated. We definitely got help. <laughs> it was much needed as well in certain areas. Yeah, I mean, when you think about it, the floor and the underfloor heating pipe work is so permanent. Um, and the thought of us not knowing if we pressure tested it properly and then what if there was a leak, like we're never going to be able to get to it again. So I think that bit of it scared me, whereas doing the extending of the joists and the insulation, that felt doable. Mm -hmm. We could kind of go back and change that as we went along. And I mean, even like the equipment that they've used, yeah. like there's a decoiler and a staple gun and we would never have been able to do it that ourselves. It just made the job a lot, lot harder and a lot, lot longer. Time wasn't on our side either. We had to be really pushing to get ready for the kitchen fitted, obviously plastering the other pieces that are coming up in the next few videos that you'll see, um, so that we could be in for Christmas. And yeah, I think it took in total maybe 
six days mm -hmm. um, to get to the point that we're at now. And us on our own, we were probably 10 or 12 days minimum. Of course, we work full time. We haven't got time to throw it that way. Yeah, and I think when it comes down to time versus money, for us, time was more important. Um, but from a money point of view, I don't really think we saved that much money by doing it ourselves. Um, we had a quote from an external company to come and do the, the underfloor heating yeah. and the screen and everything like that. And we probably saved hundreds of pounds rather than thousands. Yeah, definitely. But it's the experience that counts. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we do have paintwork happening upstairs as well, and that you'll see very soon. So, thanks for watching. Yep, get let, to see colour charts next time. Let us know your thoughts <laughs> down in the comments, and we'll see you all soon. See you later.